Norway was one of the countries that President Moon Jae-in visited during his recent tour to Northern Europe. And during the state visit, he met with Prime Minister Erna Solberg for discussions on how to deepen bilateral ties, especially on this year, which marks the 60th anniversary of diplomatic relations between the two countries. To discuss this relationship further, we have invited for Touch Base in Seoul today, Norway's ambassador to South Korea, His Excellency Frode Solberg himself. Welcome, Ambassador. Thank you very much and thank you for having me on the show. Let's start with a bit about yourself first. Um, you started your post in South Korea in July of 2018, so it's been about a year now. How has it been so far? Well, it's been, uh, I would say it's been an incredible journey. Um, I feel very privileged to be in this country. Uh, the relations between our two countries are very close, both politically and, uh, and of course, commercially. Uh, Korea belongs to one of its, it's actually one of our most important trade partners. So it has been a, a very hectic year, but uh, but I have to say that I, I wake up every day and feel very privileged to be in this exciting country and beautiful country. Mm. So, uh, so far, so good. I'm, I'm very happy to be here. Previously, your posts at the foreign ministry before Seoul were mostly in uh, European countries such as Sweden and Germany. How did you feel you know, that change coming to an Asian country, coming to Korea? Uh, was it similar for you? Was it difficult or how was it? Well, I, this is my fifth posting abroad and I've, I've been to the Middle East as well, mm. uh, in addition to three European countries. Uh, but that's quite correct. Uh, my, 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 most of my experience is from Europe. Then again, uh, serving in embassies uh, is, is, is quite similar uh, with regard to, uh, to different types of assignments. Um, what I would say is that the, I feel, uh, I have to admit that the, I find this the most exciting posting so far. Uh, this is my first posting as an ambassador as well, which of of course, means something, but uh, but I have to say the dynamics and the and the pace in in Korea is is very very high. Mm. Uh, that makes it extremely interesting. Uh, as I mentioned, um, Korea is is one of our most important trade partners, uh, which is a little bit surprising to both Norwegians and Koreans. But but actually, our second import, uh, most important uh, trade partner in Asia after China. Um, so I work a lot with with uh, with business, and that is perhaps the uh, a little bit of the difference compared to previous postings that the focus on business is is even higher mm. uh, here in Seoul than it was before. Um, having said Seoul, it's also, uh, this is not only Seoul, it's we also have many, many companies in the maritime cluster, uh, meaning that we are quite active also in, in Busan. So, but uh, but um, it's, it's there's so many things going on in, in, in Korea, both politically and, and commercially. So um, first and foremost, I think it's an extremely exciting and, and rewarding place to be. So you see that dynamism and pace in your everyday work, you're saying? Absolutely. Um, mm. I would say, and I think we all feel that way, um, both in my embassy and I, I think a lot of my colleagues do as well, that mm. there is so much going on um, and so many interesting things going on. It's it's uh, So um, it, it's a little bit like a candy shop because you, you feel that there's so <laughs> many things that you would like to do. Um, uh, I have to say our resources sometimes uh, are limited, uh, but, uh, but uh, there is so much going on that uh, time is really flying uh, fast and I think that's that's the the feeling we have every day but the dynamism and 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 the pace in Korea is is both very impressive and and makes it very very interesting and fun to 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 work with and to be here let's talk a bit about the uh, Norway South Korea relationship this year marks the 60th anniversary of a diplomatic relations how do you assess these past 60 years you know how do you uh, what do you uh, what do you talk you know when you talk about the South Korea Norway relationship, what do you think of? Well, f first, I would I would like that that's quite correct. We are celebrating 60 years of diplomatic relations this year, which is which we are celebrating in, in many ways, and not least by by the visit you mentioned by uh, by the president, which was uh, the highlight I would say of this year. Uh, but I would like to also go back a few years longer, back to to the Korean War, um, mm -hmm. and we uh, from Norway side we sent a field hospital to to Korea at that time in 1951. That stayed on uh, until the end. Of of the hostilities and also many Norwegians stayed on after the war and together with the Korean authorities we helped to build up the National Medical Center the hospital in Seoul that is still very active today so the relations stretch even longer back than the 60 years um, but I think the, the warm and close relations that were built during the war and in the years after that has really um, 
continue to grow. Um, so I think we have seen an incredible development in our bilateral ties over these years, uh, both politically. We worked closely together in most international questions. Uh, as I said, trade, our trade relations are extremely close. Um, and we have seen a, a steady growth and a very strong growth over the last 10 years as well. So uh, I think we have, um, it's, I w it's not a new history, but from these 60 years, we have seen really an incredible growth in our bilateral ties. Perhaps one of the most important aspects of those bilateral ties is trade. And uh, in this uh, relationship between North and, uh, Norway and South Korea, maritime, shipbuilding, seafood industries have been the key industries between the two countries. But what are some of the uh, more recent industries that have been growing uh, between the two countries and where do you want to see the trade grow more? Well, as, as you mentioned, I think the, the maritime industry uh, still remains to be a pillar. It has, has been for a very long time and I think it will continue to be for a very long time as well. Um, we are both seafaring uh, nations with oceans surrounding us. Uh, so this is still a very, very important area. And um, a majority of the companies, of the Norwegian companies here in Korea, are still focused in the maritime area, uh, supporting technical uh, equipment, uh, IT, all kinds of supporting uh, industries. And many of the big uh, companies in Norway, both the energy companies as well as the ship owners, mm. still build many ships here. And, and um, uh, Korea remains the, the most important shipbuilding country for Norwegian ship owners. So I think the... Uh, uh, the maritime industry has played and will continue to play a very, very important role. But as you say, we have moved into new areas. Seafood, you mentioned as well, which is, is important. Um, in the future, I, I think also that um, the area of renewable energy, which I know right. is a very important area for Korea, uh, we have um, long traditions, very strong traditions, both when it comes to renewable and, and within other areas of the energy uh, field. So I think that is probably the most important area for the future. Um, green tech in, in general, green technologies. Um, I think we have a great platform to build on in that area, smart cities to mention other areas. So uh, I, I think we will see uh, the development into to, uh, to new and very exciting areas for both countries. And I think we in many areas we have complementary interest and complementary expertise um, that I think will be um, beneficial mm. for both of our countries. Uh, I would perhaps also like to say that it's, it's not only Norway to Korea, it's of course Korea, uh, Korean products in Norway <laughs> as well, mm. and um, uh, tech products of course, um, and I would also like to mention the, the amazing uh, car industry uh, which we have seen over the last years, not only normal, uh, I would say normal petrol cars, but mm. uh, the amazing development uh, in the EV industry. So Korean brands are extremely, electric vehicles are extremely popular in Norway. So that has been a very, very important success story as well. I understand as well, uh, Korean culture as well has uh, made its way into uh, Europe and Northern Europe as well, right? Uh, I, uh, absolutely, and I think K-pop, uh, I've, I've used the impression uh, or the expression before that uh, Korea is cool. And, and I, I think that is a very, very strong um, feeling in Norway as well, that, that K-pop is really um, pushing its way into the market. I uh, hear there's a there's a school, uh, the, uh, the Hadland Folk High School, which yes, uh, you offers studies in uh, um, Korean culture, right? Absolutely. You're very well informed. And <laughs> it, it, it's a very nice story. It's... it's um High school, young people focusing, uh, using one of the uh, one school year to to both learn more about K-pop, but also Taekwondo, uh, some Korean language. So I think it, it's it's just a proof of the huge interest that we have seen now on um, not only uh, Korea in general, but for 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 young Norwegians. And I think that's particularly important to to have the focus uh, on young people. And we see this extremely. Uh, extreme interest um, and a little bit both ways because mm. I also think that young Koreans look to Norway mm. uh, maybe to learn more about um, our way of life, nature, a little bit more work-life balance issues and so on. So I think um, we are looking at a very bright future when it comes to the, uh, the bilateral relations between our two countries. We mentioned President Moon Jae-in visited Norway in June. I understand you were also uh, there for that occasion. President Moon 
was invited to give a speech at the Oslo Forum where he vowed to create peace in the Korean Peninsula. He also mentioned that Norwegians have been working towards peace not only in their own country, but in other countries as well. For example, there was the 93 Oslo Accords signed by Israel and Palestine that Norway took part in brokering. And more recently, representatives from the Venezuelan uh, government and its opposition met in Oslo to try and resolve their conflict. What do you think Norway can offer to try and help bring the peace process in the Korean Peninsula? Well, first and foremost, I have to say it was a great privilege to welcome the president uh, and his accompanying delegation, as well as the first lady to Norway. Uh, we think it was a great success, and it was uh, we, we managed to cover quite a few areas of, of the cooperation between our countries during the visit. Uh, as you said, uh, the president also held a very uh, good speech in, in, in the uh, university in Oslo on the peace process. Regarding our role and I think what we as you say we Norway has played a, a, an important role in many many different um, I would say conflict scenarios um, and um, first and foremost it's important to to mention the role that the president has played himself and mm. uh, so so this is this is definitely uh, something that is in, in, in the best of hands uh, for the time being um, I think Norway's role has been uh, to in in some some areas and some of them you ones you mentioned to try to facilitate um, and we we were I come from a country who always believe in dialogue and and uh, to use the the force and the power of dialogue and to try to facilitate dialogue between parties that's that's an important part of this um, um, to do this, I think we need to build trust. Uh, we need to understand that things might take time um, and to actually use the time necessary to, to build the important uh, trust issue. That is that it is extremely uh, important. And also to sometimes to, um, uh, to be able to take some political risk because in many of these difficult situations, uh, the risk element is absolutely there. It's not always possible to reach a result in a short period of time. Um, and sometimes the conversations, the talks will, will not end uh, in a positive way. But, but uh, I think um, we stand ready, uh, Norway stands ready to, to try to be helpful uh, in, in all ways possible. And of course, we support the very, very positive steps steps that have been taken uh, by the president and, and uh, supporting the the um, what we hope is a very positive development on the Korean Peninsula. And finally, you know, we, we said it's the 60th anniversary of the bilateral relations. I'm sure the embassy has been very busy. Can you tell us briefly some of the things that are coming up, uh, the joint uh, events that you might be doing? Yes, it has been um, it has been a very hectic year so far, and of course this is something we have to mark. And, and um, in in some areas, also working closely with the uh, with the Korean embassy in Oslo, uh, amongst other, developing a common logo for this this year. Um, we have had a, a few big events. Uh, we just finalized the uh, Normash exhibition at the War Memorial here in Seoul. Uh, we had a, a big reception also this year. But um, what's coming up? Uh, I, w- I would perhaps like to mention um, we have a visit by uh, Trondheim Symphonic Orchestra in November. Uh, we will have um, different guests in different cultural areas. Uh, we have a Norwegian, Torben Korsbu, coming for the uh, Ceramics Biennale uh, this autumn. Um, one main event will be we are focusing a little bit on Busan for the second half year. Um, and since we have many Norwegians living there, and also very strong bonds with with the area Ulsan, Busan, and Kocha. Um, so we will have um, many sem- uh, seminars uh, focus on on bilateral commercial ties, green shipping, uh, smart shipping, uh, and so on. And we have a big Norway Day celebration in the end of October. So there are many things going on, and and uh, both in in Seoul and in Busan and some other places as well. So it will still be a year full of um, uh, surprises and events from uh, to mark the Norwegian Korean uh, bilateral relations. Ambassador, thank you for coming today. It's been wonderful to get to know more about the Norway-Korea relationship and we hope it continues to thrive going forward. They will and thank you once again for having me on the show and let me talk a little bit about (laughs) our close relations and our close friendship.